No. Playing for handouts quite often, they're asked to move along. So this is a tune that they put together. <laughs> thinks I got all these amazing lessons and uh, <laughs> but after the second night that he heard me play he said I'm gonna call you up on stage and I played but when I was his, his driver occasionally I'd be, be working on something and, and I'd say Sonny well how would I do that and he said give me the heart and he would just play it so you play it like that <laughs> <Go back. laughs> like, okay but they all came together <laughs> There's also a story about Sonny and Brownie. 
you know, they, they, there was this feud that was ongoing, which it was, but they're like two brothers that, you know, that there's, there's this, this compassion. A lot of people, you know, writers, I've read a lot of stories and they just talk about that uh, feud that was happening, but when I was driving with them, Sonny was, uh, if I said something bad about Brownie, he goes, well, don't you be saying that about Brownie? And uh, just because Brownie would, he liked his liquor. And what he would do is he would, um, Sonny, Sonny would used to do the first show, and then Brownie would, would do the second show, but during the break, he would start nipping that whiskey. And then it just got, got crazy. And you'll, you'll hear a lot of that if you listen to any of the uh, live performances that they do. <laughs> my lower octaves. So the blues is, that's how you feel, right?
Wore my 44 so long, made my shoulder sore. Wore my 44 so long, it's made my shoulder sore. I'm going down in the valley. That is where my baby has gone. I was so mad this morning. I had no place to go. I was so mad this morning. I had me no place to go. I'm going to find me some money. Just might find me some gold. Uh, 
was on the road with, with Sonny. We went to, uh, I flew to Atlanta, out of Burlington, Vermont. And, uh, you know, I'd never been to Atlanta. I'm not sure if I had even left house. Vermont. I then went to Massachusetts. <laughs> Do you want a towel? We're talking in the 70s, right? Uh, so you can tell I'm uh, born and raised here, right no, here uh, in good old, old Vermont. And yeah. Gracious, how it has changed. <laughs> so I flew into Atlanta and, and, and met up with Sonny, and then we, we had a ride over to uh, Baton Rouge, and we were at a club called Cahoots, and Prior to going to the club, Sonny had a, uh, a radio appearance, and uh, this is the first time I heard him do this song. And uh, Old Jab Bo is the name of the tune, and it's a tune about he and his brother Sonny, or uh, Jabbo Terry, when Sonny and him were just little kids playing in the fields of Georgia. And Sonny would say, yeah, every time I play that, it's for Jabbo, I took a little hell out of it. But, uh, <clears throat> I've been playing this song forever. And this is very close to Sonny Terry's style. But no one can play it like Sonny. Something like this. <laughs> snake bit him on his heel. He turned around to do his best. Fell right back in a honeybee's nest. Up he jumped and away he ran. Couldn't catch him in no air. Airplane. Couldn't catch him in no airplane. 
You know it on well. <laughs> Old Jabbo, he was running like hell. <laughs> 